you all seen the progression of my build. You've seen what I've done. I even did a pre-trip uh, viewing, so to speak, before we went to Callie's campground. You know what the condition of my interior is. What if I was to change everything? You know... Hello, Mr. Greyhound. Oh! I think I'm going to get rid of the stove. I never use the oven. Just the burner. If I can do some of those quick release fittings up here for like the propane, I can put a little camp stove up here and just use it. We were, we were gone for three days and I don't think we used this at all except to maybe heat up green beans one time. And that's because the microwave didn't work. I've got plumbing underneath this cabinet which is right behind the toaster is where it goes down. I'm thinking about getting rid of from here down to open that space up. I can double stack the cabinets right here if I want to to get more room or I can just leave them. But I'm thinking about getting rid of those. The dinette, while it's nice, something we haven't used. We used it more as a day bed. Had the table down, put the cushions on it. But, I've got to move all the electrical. And I think it's going to be a pain because they go through the back of the actual dinette. You know, obviously this is the floor of the bus and this whole thing will pick straight up. But, all the wiring runs through there. Not a tremendously huge big bad idea just more of a pain than anything I built the daggone cubby for the refrigerator you can't even get your hands in here to open it rubs the wall and stuff when you try to But what happens if people come in here and they go to close the door and if they don't push it, it won't stay closed. So my choice is to move this wall forward, which is going to suck because it's got the mini split, or move it backwards, which is going to suck because then it goes into the bathroom. If I switch this out to a square pan, assuming it's not too wide from here to here, I can scoot this wall back, which will in turn let me scoot this wall back that the refrigerator's against, because the refrigerator comes all the way back to here. And instead of putting my vanity in here, if I got a short one, I could put it here, or a corner one I could put it there. Or theoretically, I could still stuff it in there. Yeah, because the wall won't go this way, it's just going to come this way. But even if I came out just like two more inches, definite possibility there. I'm not overly tickled about these cabinets. It'll definitely work, so I'm probably going to keep it this way. Um, something else I need to do is put some exhaust fans in here. I can put one right here. And probably one up here. The... the I want to keep the hatches, but they're twisted or something's jacked up about them. They're not closing on one side, and they're both tweaked like that. 
and it's, it's actually leaking. If I have somebody stand on top of it when I close it, I can get it to seal and they don't leak. So therefore, it's kind of a pain in the butt to open them. And I thought just opening them both would give enough circulation, but it doesn't. I need an actual fan. I've got the bar off of Gary's bus and that little side piece I think I'm going to put back because I've decided I want to keep the driver's area fairly stock except for the actual radio down there. I also don't care for this cabinet. We don't use it and I don't like it. It makes it a little bit crowded up here. I would almost like to have the factory brown piece that came up here. You know, the black one that had the handle on it. But I can't find it, and I'm 97% sure I threw it away. It sat over there along the fence for like a year. But I'm, I'm fairly certain it's gone. I do have stickers if anybody wants to trade. But, you know, this video, I'm not really doing anything other than just thinking. Um, another thing is this sink. I'd like to get a single basin sink to allow more counter space. Because, like, we picked up pizza one night, and there was no place to really lay it out comfortably. It was just a big mess. You set it here, it wants to fall off because the dogs knock it. They catch it. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing in upcoming videos. Moving this wall back. Seeing if I can get a square pan so I can scoot the door back. Because I don't want this door to be any skinnier than it already is. Pulling up this bad boy so I can scoot that couch down or put two recliners here. Because this couch actually reclines. If I have it sitting here, I'll have enough room to actually recline it. I want to remove those N3 cabinets, which will give me more room for dogs. And maybe do something with this cabinet. That's just kind of the game plan for right now. Next thing, though, is to actually get this seat put in and get a new um, temperature gauge for this bad boy. The other one is screwed up somehow. I think what I may do is move all the electrical down to one of these bays instead of keeping it inside. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I'm actually removing this propane furnace. It's sitting underneath one of the benches. It actually keeps the bus pretty warm, but it will kill a propane cylinder. I'm talking like in 36 hours, it will completely drain a grill cylinder you know a 20 pounder so you guys be good and be safe out there and we'll catch you next time